Hello family, welcome to Monica's Journey with Menopause and Exercise. Today we're going to be discussing the different stages of menopause. Some says there are three stages, some says there are four, some say there are five. By the end of the video, I want you to comment below. How many stages do you think there are? Now, I am going to be taking a test to know exactly what stage I am in. I know I have gone through 12 months of not having my menstrual. And I will be discussing in later videos what that was like. Okay, so right now I'm going to go take this test. And at the end of the video, I will let you know what stage I'm in. Okay, I'm back from taking the test, but first let's discuss the different stages of menopause. Sutter Health reports there are three phases of menopause. Phase one, perimenopause, around the ages of 45 to 55, you may have high flashes, irregular menstrual periods, lower sex drive, mood swings, sore breasts, vaginal dryness, tips, Continue regular sexual activity. Keep using contraception. Stick to a healthy diet and exercise plan. Phase two, menopause. On average, about four years after perimenopause starts, women's periods stop. Once you haven't had a period for 12 consecutive months, you're officially in menopause because your ovaries are no longer releasing eggs or producing much estrogen, you may also experience changing sleep patterns, more frequent hot flashes, tips, keep practicing safe sex. Phase three, postmenopause. After 12 months of menopause, the postmenopause phase kicks in. You may notice high flashes and sore breasts, which may start to ease over the next four years. Vaginal dryness persists. Tips, commit to regular preventive care and routine screening. Keep your heart and bone health in tip-top shape as risks related to loss of estrogen, such as osteoporosis and health disease increase. Subtle Health reported three phases of menopause. Lane Regional Medical Center is reporting four stages of menopause. Lane Regional Medical Center added premenopause stage. During the premenopause stage of life, a woman is having her regular menstrual cycle, is in her prime childbearing years, and has no noticeable symptoms of menopause. Technically, a woman is in the premenopause stage at any point before entering perimenopause. Then you have this lovely lady who writes an article about what is menopause. She adds a fifth stage, which is late perimenopause. She writes about perimenopause, early perimenopause, menopause, postmenopause, and late perimenopause which is the stage in which you can sometimes have 60 days or more between your periods. This stage can typically last between one and three years. You will have more cycles where you do not release an egg compared to previous stages. Your FSH levels will become constantly evaluated and you will be more likely to suffer from hypersomatous symptoms such as high flashes and night sweats. 50 to 82% of women in the U.S. experience vasomotor symptoms. Hmm, now how many stages of menopause do you believe there are? Are there three stages? Are there four stages? Or are there five stages? Comment down below. What do you think? How many stages are there? First, I'm going to share the steps it took to find out my results. 
The box came with five of these sticks and each morning I had to urinate in a cup and then put the stick inside of the cup for 20 seconds, take it out, let it sit and then I will find my results. After I find the result of that day, I have to go to my phone and put in my result. Okay, this part is just the instructions on how long we have to wait before we can record our test after we urinate it on our stick. Next, you just record the result from your stick onto your phone. After you do that, you're all done. Are you ready for the result? This test confirmed I am in postmenopause. Okay, family, I'm going to do a recap on what postmenopause means. Postmenopause means after menopause and is the time when your ovaries have stopped releasing eggs and you haven't had a menstrual for over a year. Even in menopause, you may have menopausal symptoms, but often they will get better with time. See your health professional if your symptoms interfere with daily life or if you have any health concerns. It is important to me as well as women who are going through postmenopause to remember these tips. Commit to regular preventive care and routine screening. Keep your heart and bone health in tip-top shape as risks related to the loss of estrogen such as osteoporosis and health disease increase. I hope this video was very helpful for you and I hope that by the end of this video you would know what stage of menopause you are in.